Welcome to the interview segment on the CTV News. Today I'm here to talk an, about an exciting project that has been done by some young people at the St. Joseph's Convent. The SJC Key Club took on a project to revamp a classroom, a kindergarten classroom, at the Juga Combined School in Shrizel. And with me here today is the president of the SJC Key Club, Ms. Imani Pierre. Welcome, Imani. Thank you. Thank I'm you for being be here, here with us. Yes. Um, it, it's so intriguing to hear young people like you, between what, 14 and 16, 16 yes, yes, taking on such a project. Tell us how you came up with that idea. A group of students who are currently in Form 3, when they were in Form 1 as a part of their reading month activities, one of the activities they went on to the classroom in Duga, and when they were there reading to the students, they realized that the classrooms were not very student friendly. And later on, when Key Club was reinstated into convent, a number of them joined the group and they joined Key Club and they brought up as a, when we were discussing our service projects. That was the main project that came up to be done by them because they realized the and the rest of the group fully supported that. Yes. So tell us what's involved. It sounds like a big project. Uh, what was involved in revamping a classroom? <laughs> a lot of preparation was done. First, we applied for a grant, a Nickelodeon grant. And with the support and help of the public, our students and everyone, we went in of the most votes and we won a sum of money. Also with our main sponsor, SSDF, we were able to complete this project. Okay, so you got some funding. I think I remember yes. the WhatsApp messages going around asking to vote yes. for that project. Um, excellent. So you. you decided to revamp the classroom. Yes. Tell us what was involved in and what did you change in the classroom? Majority of the stuff in the classroom was changed. The classroom was painted. The New furniture was put in, furniture was made to put into the classroom, and we... Designed by you? By the group? By the group, yes. Oh, oh very nice. Yes. Mm -hmm. So tell us about, yes, so, so you cha you painted the classroom, you changed the furniture. Yes. Um, I hate state of the art, so what did you include? Yes. We included a kitchenette, an audio-visual lounge, a reading area, and of course the teacher's desk. A kitchenette? Yes. Um, as in a stove and fridge and everything else? <laughs> a microwave, a, a fridge, and a water dispenser. Uh, what was your reasoning for putting a kitchenette in the classroom? Um, as a teacher, our faculty advisor, Ms. Mrs. Justin, and everybody would know that not all the time, not everyone is fortunate enough to come to school. So if there's children in the classroom who cannot, who doesn't have, how should to I eat? say, what? stuff to eat, that's the reason that we put in the kitchenette into the classroom. There's a water dispenser to, so the students can have water. There's a microwave. Can have to help them start reading. Off. Right, popcorn, movie nights with the smart TV installed. Smart TV. Yes. So, the audiovisual center, what's in that area? There's a smart TV, a desktop, and yeah, a smart, smart TV, TV and, and a desktop. desktop. And um, the reading area is separate from the, the main classroom space? The, your, your, the furniture that you built, was it for the reading area or for the main classroom? The furniture that we built was for the classroom as the students' desks and chairs and the reading loft is on the side of that area where it's a comfortable environment with chairs. We have a recliner chair there and mats and stuff where the, ch the students can sit and feel comfortable whilst in that area. Wow. How long did it take you to revamp the classroom? It took us five working days and we had to overnight camp in the Duga Combined School. Oh, sounds exciting. <laughs> about how many girls participated in this activity? About 15 to 20 girls participated. Yes. So you, open, you, you did an overnight to get that. So did you do the painting, the placing of the furniture? Did you have outside help to do that or was it just mainly you? 
We had a painter paint the classroom, but this was mainly the cucumbers doing most of the work. We painted the furniture and shelves to paint inside of the classroom. Okay, very nice. So far working days, and I understand you had an official um, opening of the classroom. Yes, Tell we us had about that. a ribbon cutting ceremony where our main sponsor, SSDF, the executive director, Mr. Allison, was there to represent SSDF, along with our principal, Sister Rafina Donat, our faculty advisor, a few representatives from Key Club, the principal and teacher of the classroom, of course, and other supporters, as well as some students and parents of the students of the classroom right. to view the... The cut, urban cutting. Yes. What was the students' reaction, the kindergartners? They were blown away. So were the parents and the teachers and the principal because they did not see the end result until that urban cutting oh. moment. So there was a big reveal. There was a big reveal. Oh, beautiful. Yes. Now, tell us a little bit about um, if you join a, a, a service club, I know you expect to give, but right. what did that do for, I guess you can speak from your personal experience, from, but from the girl, for the girls as well, what kind of feeling did that bring to you? It's an overwhelming feeling because not only are you giving out and you are helping, but also to see the faces of those you help. And they really did appreciate it. And you can see that learning will be fun. And like um, the principal said herself, their challenge is to get students to move up. And students would want to stay back and to use that classroom. So it just brings... An amazing feeling to see the faces of those that you have helped. Very good. What would you say to other young people um, in terms of giving back to the community in the way that you have? I hope that the spirit of volunteerism continues to live on. I hope that we have inspired others to do the same. So you would encourage other young people to, to emulate what you have done? Definitely. Yes. Um, any other big projects in, in store for, for the SGC Key Club? Definitely. That's just the beginning of SGC Key Club. We definitely have a lot more projects where we will be helping and giving out to our community because that's what Key Club is all about. Excellent. Congratulations on that achievement because it is an achievement. You. And continue to do what, you can, what you've been doing. Thank you very much. Thank you for being with us here on Calabash TV. Thank you for having me. Okay.